Today we'll be focusing on Lake Biwa in Japan. This video was directed by Caitlin, Curtis, and Zach. Now we will be focusing on the lake morphometry of Lake Biwa in Japan. Lake Biwa's coordinates are 35 degrees 20 minutes north, 136 degrees 10 minutes east. Lake Biwa's primary inflows are 118 rivers. Its primary outflow is the Seta River, with a catchment area of 3,174 kilometers squared. The maximum length of Lake Biwa is 63.49 kilometers, with a maximum width of 22.8 kilometers. Its surface area is 670.4 kilometers squared with a maximum depth of 103.58 meters. Its water volume is 27.5 kilometers cubed with a residence time of 5.5 years. Its shoreline length is 235.2 kilometers with a surface elevation of 85.6 meters. Small rivers drain from the surrounding mountains into Lake Biwa, and its main outlet is the Seta River, which later becomes the Ujai River, combining with the Katsura and Kitso to become the Yodo River, and flows into the Seto Inland Sea at Okasawa Bay. It serves as a reservoir for the cities of Kyoto and Utsu, and is a valuable resource from the nearby textile industries. It provides drinking water for over 15 million people in the Kansai region. Lake Biwa is a breeding ground for freshwater fish, including trout, and is the pearl cultural industry. The Lake Biwa Canal, built in the late 1890s and later expanded during the Tatsu period, played a role of great importance in the rekindling of Kyoto's industrial life after a steep decline following the transfer of the capital to Tokyo. The natural history of Lake Biwa is of a tectonic origin and is one of the world's 20th oldest lakes dating to almost 4 million years ago. This long interrupted age has allowed for a notably diverse ecosystem to evolve in the lake. Naturalists have documented about 1100 species in the lake including 58 endemic species. Lake Biwa is an important place for water birds as well. About 5,000 water birds will visit Lake Biwa every single year. Lake Biwa is geometrically and limnologically divided into two parts, North Basin and Southern Basin. The Northern Basin is the main basin and has a surface area of 616 kilometers squared and has a capacity of 27.3 kilometers cubed. Its average and maximum depths are 44 meters and 104 meters, respectively. The residence time of the lake is estimated at to be 5.5 years, whereas the southern basin of the lake has a surface area of 58 kilometers squared and a capacity of 0.2 kilometers cubed, with an average and maximum depth of 3.5 meters and 8 meters, respectively. The residence time of this water is calculated to be 0.04 years. Now focusing on Microcystis and Anabina and Lake Biwa. During the study, under optimal nutrient conditions, both Microcystis and Anabina isolated from Lake Biwa grew optimally at 28 to 32 degrees Celsius, but differed in maximal growth rates phosphate uptake kinetics and maximal phosphorus quotas, and the growth responses to nitrogen and phosphorus limitation. The maximal growth rates of microcystis and anabina were 1.6 and 1.25 divisions a day respectively. With phosphate and nitrate in the growing limiting range, the growth of microcystis was optimal at a nitrogen to phosphorus ratio of 100 to 1 by weight, and declined at lower nitrogen limitation and higher phosphorus limitation ratios. In contrast, anabina growth rates did not change at nitrogen to phosphorus ratios from 1001 to 10 to 1. It was concluded that in spite of the higher growth rates under ideal conditions, 
Microcystis does not usually bloom in the North Basin because of low availability of nitrogen and phosphorus. Although Anabina have an efficient phosphorus uptake system, its main strategy for growth in low phosphorus environments may depend on storage of phosphorus during periods of abundant phosphorus supply, which is rare in the North Basin. Now focusing on macroinvertebrates in Lake Biwa, Japan. Freshwater ecosystems provide ecosystem services essential to humans' well-being, such as provisioning of water and fishery resources. But they are also the most vulnerable to humans' disturbances and concerns have been raised about their loss of biodiversity. The ancient Lake Biwa is a valuable Asian freshwater ecosystem because it has high biodiversity but it has also been exposed to various severe anthropogenic environmental changes during the past half century. Although there is a great concern about the biodiversity loss in this lake, it remains highly unknown what kind of human disturbances cause the deterioration of the ecosystem. Elucidation of environmental pressures for the biodiversity loss is important to illuminate subjects for conservation of biodiversity. Main focus was on the littoral benthic and macroinvertebrate fauna because of its habitats. Located in the interface between aquatic and terrestrial ecosystems are the most vulnerable to human activities. It was found that littoral benthic macroinvertebrate diversity was largely affected by the pH, temperature, phytoplankton biomass, and benthic microalgae biomass, and the coverage of submerged plants in the lake. These environmental variables are largely associated with environmental problems that have occurred in Lake Biwa. Eutrophication, warming, the massive submerged plant expansion. These findings suggest that past environmental problems have caused serious impacts on the biodiversity of Lake Biwa. Now focusing on nitrogen and phosphorus levels in Lake Biwa, Japan. On the basis of the chemical components found in Lake Biwa, Japan, from May 1963 to May 2008, the vertical variation from 0 to 70 meters in depth of total phosphorus levels and total nitrogen concentrations in the northern basin were evaluated. Similarly, total phosphorus and total nitrogen concentrations were also discussed at the surface of the southern basin. It was concluded that the second stage nutrient concentrations have decreased compared to northern basin due to increased macrophyte growth and improvement of inflow river waters and implementation of laws. The long term variations in the total nitrogen and total phosphorus ratios were also discussed in relation to propagation of plankton. The lower total nitrogen and total phosphorus ratios observed in the northern and southern basins waters were well coincident with the more frequent and denser propagation of N2 fixing cyanobacteria. Recently, the total nitrogen and total phosphorus ratios have shown a tendency to increase in the southern basin, suggesting a first sign of the restoration of the water. In conclusion, Lake Biwa, Japan has many stresses added to the lake in the last 45 years. Nitrogen and phosphorus levels are increasing in the northern basin. Eutrophication is, is occurring in the lake due to human activities, as well as macroinvertebrates have been shown to be stressed due to eutrophication in the lake.